Hey guys, it's Nick McCree here. I'm back with another KV Core training video. This one's all about smart campaigns. This is one of the most highly requested topics that I teach on KV Core, and I'm actually gonna be releasing a longer five part series on smart campaigns, so stay tuned for those. But if you like this video, or if you have any questions about the video, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them, and let's get started. All right, so let's talk about how to create effective smart campaigns. All right, so drip campaigns are located under the marketing autopilot tab, and it's in this top left hand corner. So we have start a campaign. So we're going to click on that. Okay, so these drip campaigns can be used in a number of different ways. Again, I'm on record as saying I'm not a huge proponent of, you know, very drawn out long campaigns. I do believe if somebody is not converted, um, you're not doing personal follow-up, that these campaigns really aren't going to do your job for you. You know, KV Core and these campaigns can help you convert these leads. They're not going to do it all for you. So there is a number of uh, different things such as calling the leads personally or reaching out, sending, you know, general um, custom follow-up. That kind of deal is not going to get done through a campaign. But what a campaign will do is remind you to do uh, certain tasks and set certain reminders. It will call you, tell you to call your leads. It can send out automatic messages to your leads to let them know um, that you're following up with them or will follow up with them personally soon. It can also send out emails to drip on them. Um, you know, regarding home searches and things of that nature. So there, there are a lot of things that campaigns can do. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to create all kinds of different campaigns, okay? So the first thing you want to notice is there's campaign library and there are templates, okay? So we'll start in templates. In these templates, this is where you actually create the content for what goes into the campaign, okay? So KV Core already has a bunch of templates made up for emails, for text messages, for calls, for tasks, stuff like that, okay? So there's a bunch of stuff in there that's already there that you can just clone and create your own, all right? Now, if you want to just add all your own personal things, which I recommend, and create your own campaign, I would go here to add template, and you can add um, the template that you want. So for example, if we're creating an email, just create an email and give it a name. I would almost always put your name in the name. All right. Because you're, you, the lead does not see template name. This is just for you. This is so you can find it. So, you know, again, KV core has hundreds of these, uh, pre-made templates. So trying to sort through and pick out the ones that you want, um, can be difficult if you don't name them something specific. So I usually just put like, for example, I might do Nick buyer one or email one, something like that. Like if I was creating a buyer campaign for new buyer leads, that way, when I'm going to add this template into my campaign, I can just search for Nick and I can easily pick out buyer email one. Okay. So you can obviously create the subject here. Um, but then you can also go here to advanced editor. So this is just the generic. If you want to make like a very simple looking campaign, if you want to make nicer looking emails, you can add, uh, you can go to this advanced editor. Um, you're going to switch over. Okay. And then once you're switched over, it's going to open up, um, this editor where you can now create much nicer looking, um, follow up emails. All right. So here, we can, for example, we can add a title. We can add an image here. I can drag over a video if I wanted to put a video that's uploaded to either Vimeo or YouTube or any other hosting website. Um, I can add my social media links underneath. Um, you know, I can add different kinds of content, whether it's a listing perhaps, right? All you have to do is you click on it and you can say, let's say view listing button or something like that or... Um, triple listing collage of the different listings that I have. I can go here and I can upload the video URL. I can browse and upload an image there. There's all kinds of different things that you can add, okay? And this looks a lot better. You can make really nice follow-up. You can add pictures of you and your team, you know, add your bio, 
all kinds of different things. The idea is you create this email here in the template, give it a name, give it a subject. If you want to put an MLS ID, that's if you're sending out like your listings. But again, this probably wouldn't be done through um, you know, a drip campaign. But you can create the email template here and you can use all these different things. If you go back to the basic editor, um, or even if we go in here, we're typing, you'll notice that they have this merge tags feature. And this is something that's important, okay? So these merge tags are basically, this populates the names of leads or of the agent, okay? So first name, last name, full name, that's gonna be of the lead. So if you want to be personalized, so for example, I could say, hey, and then I can say, hey, uh, John Doe, this is, right? And I could just type my name. Let's say I had a team. Hey, John Doe, this is Nick McCree um, with, you know, uh, EXP Realty. And so this will populate. So it could be John Doe, it could be Jane Doe, it could be any name, and it will populate um, that from the leads that you're sending it to, okay? So I like these tags, and again, these are the merge tags here. And you can do all kinds of things, your website. Um, you can even populate your lender's information in there. Um, all kinds of different things that they're looking at. So that's how you do that. You do the same thing in Basic Editor. But the idea is you create, these, um, you create those templates um, through email. You can also create text messages in the same way if you actually – write down these as well if you type uh, the the bracket in there so this is actually you hit shift and then the bracket and it'll pop up all the merge tags in the text messages so again you give it a name so this might be Nick buyer text one something like that um, and I could say the same thing I could say hey say hey John this is Nick with EXP Realty, right? And you can create your text messages. So now you can create your follow-up drip campaigns and you can populate the leads information, which sounds a lot more personal, sounds a lot more real. I think that's a very important thing to note. When you're creating these campaigns, you want to sound as real as possible um, because now... You know, 2019, in this day and age, I think we can all sniff out a um, a robot or a generated response or, a, you know, a campaign, some sort of drip. So trying to be as authentic as possible when you're writing these is very, very key. And these merge tags help you gain that authenticity. Okay? So the idea is you want to start in templates. You want to create all the emails, all the text messages. If you want to create some tasks to follow up. You have a team and you want them to do certain steps, you'll create these tasks here. You create all these templates here first, okay? And then you go over to campaign library, and this is where we're gonna create our campaigns. Alright? So I'm gonna go over to campaign library. Obviously, I've made a bunch and I've got a bunch tested out here. Um, if uh, you would like, I have a couple of campaigns. We we do have some that we can share. Um, again, I personally, my recommendation is try to write your own because the best campaigns I think are the ones that are personal. Talk about yourself, about your experience, about your value proposition. What are you offering? How you can help? Um, if you need some ideas or if you just plain don't want to write them, um, the link will be in the description on how, uh, you know, we could do those for you. But again, I, this is everything and how you want to create them. Um, this is everything you need to know how to create them. You create the templates first. We're going to go to campaign library. So let's talk about the different types of campaigns you can make. Okay. We're going to go down to add campaign in this green section here. And you can click on this button to add a campaign. Okay. And once you add the campaign, you're going to see the under campaign logic. You can start a campaign when a lead is new, and this is just going to say whenever there's a new lead, whether it's a buyer, a seller, whoever, if they're new, this campaign will automatically apply to them. All right, you can have a campaign for if a lead's transferred to you. So in a previous uh, video, we had uh, talked about transferring or sharing leads um, to another agent. You can have a campaign that basically says when a lead's transferred to you, 
You can set up a campaign that says, hey, um, this is Nick. I'll be taking over and helping you out. Um, you might have been speaking with so-and-so, but I will be assisting you from here on out. So you can have a campaign that speaks to that. You can also have a campaign that, that works from a different hashtag. Um, so if you add a hashtag, it will create that. It will add this campaign, and you can search the tag here. I like that idea. Um, so you can add a trigger here. So let's say we wanted to add a trigger. So we can say um, hashtag is, and then we can add a tag, right? So let's say, for example, if we want to create a campaign that said for anybody that has the hashtag open house 123 Main Street, if you're using the KV Core open house app, it will ask you, hey, do you want to create a tag for anybody that signs into the open house? I always recommend that people say yes, and you create two hashtags. You create one that says hashtag open house, and you create one that says hashtag with the street address. That's because you want to be able to sort which all of the leads that came from an open house, but you also want to be able to sort just the leads that came from just a specific open house that you did because you're going to do multiple, right? But the idea is that you can create a campaign for any listing or any open house that you do. You can create like an open house campaign. You create the hashtag open house, and now the start can be when, some, when a lead is, has a hashtag open house, they're going to get added to this campaign, all right? And for that, you might want to hit all or something like that. And so you could say, again, you can do this for any number of different things. You can say, I want a campaign only for Spear, Spear campaign. Or maybe I want a campaign for my closed. So you can add a campaign for your past clients. So if you switch someone to closed and now they have closed in their home, now they're a past client, you can create a post-close drip campaign that says congratulations. It can say, hey, would you recommend me? Write me a testimonial. I would love your referrals. That's the best way you can thank me. Stuff like that. You can create a post closing drip campaign you can even create one for contract right i mean really there's infinite amount of ways you can create these campaigns again my only thing is that i wouldn't write out you know three-year extended campaigns i think they should be personal short and concise and they should be very thoughtful with how they're put together but the idea is that you can be very creative with all the different kinds of campaigns you can do so again this would say if the status is contract Add them to this campaign. And again, something like that would be, okay, we're almost there. Here are your next steps. Here's what you need to do to be prepared for closing. By the way, don't go buy it. You know, don't go open a new credit card. Don't go buy a car. Don't go spend all this money and ruin your credit. And, uh, you know, you have to <laughs> still, you have to be approved and ready for that loan up until you close. So, you know, you might set up stuff like that to drip on them after you go into, under contract, stuff of that nature. You might create one under contract for sellers. You might create one under contract for buyers, right? These are all different ways you can create these different campaigns. So really the possibilities, as I said, are endless for how you do them. I just would not have campaigns that have like 200 touches. I think you lose people at that point. You want to be very uh, thoughtful with how you create these. But you can create campaigns for any of these fields, okay? And uh, I think that's very important. You can even create campaigns for source as well. Okay. Um, so you can create a campaign for different sources. Um, you know, again, open house, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, realtor.com. If there's a source that you're getting a lot of leads from, you want only those that have a specific campaign, you can do it that way as well. Okay. So there's many different ways you can add these different triggers. And uh, then you're going to hit next. And then you're going to go and uh, we'll just say new just because you use an example. You can design these different campaigns here for, you know, buyers, for sellers, for all, even for renters, agents and vendors, if you like as well. You can hit next. You set the detail. Again, the, lead, the leads don't see this, but this is just for you. So I'm just going to hit test again. Um, you know, but this could be, uh, for example, this could be buyer campaign. You say for, for new buyer leads, something like that. This is just for you to organize. 
You always want to hit always run if you want the campaigns to automatically apply. So if you want them to automatically start, you want to hit always run. Um, locked is just for sharing purposes, but this doesn't really matter. So you can hit yes or no. doesn't really matter. You can hit next. This is just going to ask you to review, and then you can add your campaign, okay? And it's going to add the campaign to your list within your library. I'm just going to close this because I already have a couple test campaigns here. So, again, so this is just going to show up in your campaign library, and you're going to hit test or whatever the name of your campaign. I think I have like 20 campaigns in there. I'm just going to click on this test one, okay? And I'm going to show you a couple of the different things, again, that you can add here. So again, you can just add these templates. So you go to add action. That's why you have to create the templates first. You must create the template first so that you can add it here. So this is like the content. This is like the book. So this is the book. This is the cover. This is the, the binding. You got to add the different pages to the book. Okay, so the templates are the pages that you have to add. This is the content. You got to write it first before you can put this together. So again, we're coming here to the campaign actions. You can hit add action. The one that I'll highlight is call, okay, because they have this feature here, call me, all right? So this says initiates a call to the agent and then connects them to the lead. So if anybody, again, I personally don't like Zillow, wouldn't recommend using them um, because I think we can do, you know, create our own leads, do similar things here through KV Core. Um, but for, for those of us that do, and I work with a lot of people who do, promote on Zillow and they have a Zillow connect call feature. It basically Zillow calls them and says, Hey, you have a lead that just came through. Do you want to connect with them? Okay. This is very similar for things like op city. Okay. Um, you get a connect call. KV core will say, Hey, anytime there's a new lead that comes in, if you like, and they're set up on this campaign, it will call you and ask you to connect to the lead. So KV core will call your number and uh, it'll actually show up from the smart number. So whatever smart number that you have, uh, if you've bought a smart number or if you're sharing a smart number from somebody, it will call you and say, hey, Nick, you have a new lead. Press one to connect to them. Okay. It even tell you what area they're looking in, what price point they're looking in. That's based on the homes that they looked at online. Okay. And what you'll see here is it will say, Call them once every day or call one new lead every day over three days until they're contacted. So it's going to basically call me once or if I wanted to say three times, it would call me once a day over three days until I've actually called the lead, until I hit one and I connect. So basically you can instruct KV Core to, you know, just bug you until you call. We all know that, you know, we all think we want to make all these phone calls. The best agents call the most leads. It's just point blank. That's how it works. So this is a great way, especially if you're a team leader, um, to set up that your agents will be getting calls from KV Core. Um, you know, when you have a lot of leads coming in, this might be one thing you might turn off. If you have a team, it could be a good thing. Again, your, lead, your agents are going to constantly be getting phone calls from KV Core saying, hey, you got a new lead. Make sure you call them. And you can set up how many times you want the system to call you. I think this is a great feature, um, right? So, you know, set this up for the, the leads that you want. I think this is awesome. And then you can set up your different things. So, again, if I want to go in here to email, I can say buyer one. I'm going to select the template. Let me just select one of these examples. This is how you view to make sure this is the one that you want, right? Something like that. It's going from the agent to the lead. So again, you name it, you select the template that you want. So these are all the ones that you've already made previously, and then you can view it. And then you can, you can tell it to either run immediately, that's as soon as they're added, or you can tell it to wait. So maybe I want to say, like, uh, I like to give them, like, five minutes. So, hey, they're logging into the website, they're clicking around. Five minutes later, after they sign up on the website, they're going to get an email from me, from post call email one. And I can hit add. And there you go. Five minutes after, they're going to get this email. I can go in here and I can click on text message. I can do the same thing. Text one. I'm just going to click an example. I can view the template here. It's going to go from the agent to the contact. Let's say this will go out like one day after. So I click on days um, here. 
and then uh, and click on our, our days, and it's going to go out one day after, hit add, and there you go. So now my campaign is going to try to call me so I can call the lead. It's going to send them an email five minutes after. One day later, it'll send them a text message. That is how you create those calls. You can also create these tasks here. You can say, for example, um, follow up reminder to send a personal message. A lot of people I've seen do this um, ad on social media. So you can basically, you know, run a template or something. I don't know, move to sphere or something like that. You can say, you know, a week later, I want to add them as a friend on Facebook. I want that as a follow up for all my leads to remind me to set a task that in my CRM, it'll remind me to add them on social media through here. You can also add a tag, like a hashtag. So um, switch um, to prospect long-term buyer campaign. And so I might add a tag that says uh, long-term buyer, something like that. And this will send out, let's say, like a, a month later. So the, I could say, for example, let's say uh, 30 days, it'll add this tag. So what I've done here, so it'll try to call me. It'll send an email five minutes later. It'll send a text message one day later. It will tr it remind me, set a task one week later to add them on Facebook. And then 30 days later, it will create a hashtag called long-term buyer and it will it'll add that hashtag to the leads if I haven't taken them off the campaign within 30 days now the reason why I say switch to prospect long-term buyer campaign is because if you remember if I go back to all campaigns and I go here to add campaign what I can do is I can add a campaign and I can add a trigger that basically says any leads okay any leads that have the hashtag, any leads that have the hashtag long term buyer, any leads that have the hashtag long term buyer or move to a hashtag long term buyer, there it is. If I have a tag or a lead in a campaign that's moved to hashtag long term buyer, it will add them to this new, let's call this long term buyer campaign for long term prospects who are just browsing, right? So now I can create a new campaign, again, that will automatically add anybody that's transferred to the hashtag long-term buyer and they'll be added to a second campaign. So if you see the progression there, here's what'll happen. I have a campaign that's gonna try to, it's gonna remind me to call them. So I'm gonna try to reach out. Maybe I talk to them and they're just browsing. It's going to send them an email. It's going to send them a text message. It's going to remind me to add them to social media. And a month later, they're going to get tagged with long-term buyer, which will automatically trigger them to start on the long-term buyer campaign, which maybe only sends like one email a month you know, over the next year or one text message and email a month just to remind them that I'm still here as their agent. So you can basically forward someone from one campaign to another campaign using these hashtags. And so a lot of people do that. They'll have an initial campaign, they'll have a nurture campaign, and they'll have a tag for nurture, and they'll have maybe a long-term prospect campaign. So you can filter people through these different campaigns based on where they are in the process. Now, one thing I will say, as soon as somebody responds, as soon as somebody comes and says, hey, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I'm doing, I generally will turn them off of any new lead campaign because these new buyer campaigns for anybody that's new, most of the time the follow-up you're going to be sending is, hey, this is Nick. What areas are you looking in? You know, Have you been helped yet? Have you talked with a lender yet? Um, what's your price point? What's your motivation right, for moving? Those kinds of questions. That's what you're going to be asking. If you speak with the lead and KV Corp calls you and you're able to get through and you're connected to the lead and they tell you why they're moving, where they're moving, what their price point is, you probably don't want the campaign, the, the system to automatically send that message the next day because they might get upset and say, well, hey, I, I just told you all of that yesterday, right? 
So for these new lead campaigns, let's say, for example, I'll give you an example. The scenario is it, KV Core calls me. I'm able to talk to the lead, and they tell me they're looking in Charlotte for around $250,000. They're looking to move in six months. Well, now I don't need them to get all these other different emails and follow up. Maybe I'll just automatically put them onto some sort of other drip, or I can just turn them off on the campaign and just set them up on a search alert, a market report, and start sending them houses because they're a serious lead, stuff of that nature. So the campaign, again, is really just to get responses. It's just to drip on people, just to, to you know remind them that you're still there. It's not going to do your job for you. It's not going to convert them, but it will help. All right. So I hope this is a good explanation of the different ways you can use the campaigns. Um, and again, if you want some help with them, please reach out and uh, we'll do our best to help you put these campaigns together. Uh, but in the meantime, again, create the camp, uh, create the templates first as a review, create the templates first, then you can create the campaigns and then make sure you click um, to apply them. And in, uh, in the campaign library, you're going to see here that says always run and uh, the status. If you want to turn on the campaign, make sure it's blue and it, then it is running and it will always run and automatically apply. So if I was to hit status, yes, it would turn blue. Um, are you sure? You know, if I hit yes, it will automatically apply. So I'm just going to hit cancel and then it would automatically apply to all my leads. So that's a review on how to create your campaigns and how to create effective follow-up in KV. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out my channel. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I put out so much content on social media marketing, CRM training like KV Core, and how to dominate the competition digitally. So if you're a realtor, an entrepreneur, or a business owner, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You can find me anywhere on social media at Real Nick McCree. And if you have an idea for a video that you'd like me to do, drop it in the comments below. So now it's time for you guys to take what you saw in this video and put it into action to go out and crush your goals. I'll see you in the next video.